why go to Montreal? There is only one word that really captures the essence of Montreal, multifaceted. This city represents the melding of the old and new worlds, with 18th century structures blending into a 21st century skyline. Old-fashioned houses are now home to funky fusion restaurants, and the familiar sound of English is juxtaposed against the role d'ars of French. Rainbow flags fly alongside cloth emblems from India, Portugal, and France, and traditional French pastries are sold alongside the distinctly sweet sesame seed, Montreal-style bagel. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, a short elevator ride exposes you to another city located several stories below ground level. This versatile city's top attractions include world-class museums and bustling marketplaces. Start your tour along the ancient cobblestone streets of Vieux Montreal. Here, you can explore historic cathedrals or grab a cappuccino at one of the traditional French cafes along Boulevard Saint Laurent. If history doesn't excite you, head to the bustling downtown area for an afternoon of shopping or to Parc du Mont Royal for a hike. Just make sure to save some energy for when the sun sets. Montreal, especially Rue St. Denis, is known for a nightlife scene that continues until the wee hours of the morning. Best things to do in Montreal. Montreal's museums, landmarks, shopping districts and nightclubs provide plenty of entertainment. For a taste of historic Montreal, spend a day exploring the 18th century buildings of View Montreal, which now house small museums and souvenir shops. This city is also a great destination for families, with attractions like the Montreal Biodome. If you are visiting during the winter, escape the cold by heading down to the shopping malls and museums of the underground city. What to eat in Montreal? Like the French, Montrealers pride themselves on top-notch cuisine. Although traditional French cuisine still reigns supreme, Montreal's palate has broadened over the past few years to include Portuguese, Thai, Moroccan, Indian, Mexican and numerous other international cuisines. If it's a bit of old French cuisine that you're craving, head to View Montreal, where many of the historic buildings now house traditional French bistros and restaurants, restos, including Toque. Love and the breathtaking crew collective and cafe, the best times to visit Montreal are from March to May and from September to November, when the weather is milder and hotel vacancies run amok. But aside from fluctuating rates, you'll discover that there really isn't a bad time to vacation here. Warm summer temperatures make exploring on foot much more enjoyable, while the heated underground city passages provide refuge during the winter. If you are drawn to the temperate summer, make sure to book in advance, Montreal hosts numerous popular festivals during this season. Getting Around Montreal The best ways to get around Montreal are on foot or by public transportation. Montreal is a very walkable city, but if your feet do grow weary, the Montreal Metro and bus are both cost-efficient and easy to use. There is also a public shuttle bus, number 747, that runs between downtown and the Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport 24-7. There are two routes, one drops visitors off downtown, making 11 stops along the way. The other is a straight shot to the Lionel Grouk station, where you can hop on a metro train to your desired destination. Rides cost 10 Canadian dollars, roughly $7.50, per person. You can also take a cab from the airport to downtown, which will cost 41 Canadian dollars, around $31. Neighborhoods Montreal is an island city with two main geographic features, Montana Royal and the St. Lawrence River. Holding fast to the French manner of giving directions, Montrealers defy the compass and use these natural landmarks instead. If someone tells you to go north, they mean head in the direction of Montana Royal, though it's technically to the west. With this in mind, the St. Lawrence River borders the southern side of the city, with the Boulevard Saint Laurent acting as the dividing line between east and west. Montreal is also two cities in one, with another city located entirely underground. 
Visitors can escape Canada's harsh winter weather by exploring the many shopping malls found in Montreal's underground city. Downtown Montreal Accessible via the Green Line's McGill Metro Station or the Orange Line's Bonaventure Metro Station. Bound by Rue Sherbrooke to the north, Boulevard René Levesque to the south, Boulevard d'Estillaron to the east and Rue Drummond to the west, the heart of Montreal is similar to most major business hubs, displaying magnificent skyscrapers, upscale hotels and plenty of fine dining. Downtown is an area where languages and tastes collide while old-world European architecture shares the street with contemporary structure. At the northern edge of downtown is McGill University's urban campus, which maintains its Anglophone identity amid a French-speaking community. Old Montreal, View Montreal Accessible via the Orange Line's Playstorm Metro Station Sitting southwest of downtown Montreal on the site where the original city was founded in 1642, View Montreal is characterized by cobblestone streets that are often frequented by street artists and performers. Numerous buildings dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries house historical museums, souvenir shops, boutique hotels, galleries and quaint cafes. Those who spend the day in View Montreal take advantage of the district's riverside location, which is perfect for waterfront strolls and bike rides. On the southern edge is the View Port de Montreal, Old Montreal Port, a waterfront promenade often frequented by bikers and inline skaters. If you like our video, don't forget to press the button subscribe and like.